we brought you some serum for your sister. Your sister. Yes. We can fix the her The one brain. that's slow, not you. <laughs> yeah. Because clearly she's the one that's slow and not you. Yes. That doesn't have a broken brain. Well, that's just mean. Camilla, we got a serum Who's for the you. one that hit a child in the face with a shovel earlier, Mike? Uh, was it you? No, I'm sorry. You're the one who punched the child. My mistake. Sometimes I get those confused. Armor. Armor. Damn it. <laughs> armor. Damn. See, armor. Oh, I got no! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Why is there a jaw? What? Who the hell is Brother Akis? <laughs> Who have you guys been eating? Mike, Brother Akis is the guy that wouldn't let us into Angel's Landing. Uh, the guy in the tuxedo? Yes! <laughs> Look! Formal wear, park ranger hat, scripture, service rifle. That's Brother Akis. Maybe it was some other religious night job wearing a tuxedo? I'm... Or do you think his jaw flew all the way over here? Either his jaw flew all the way over here, which is hilarious. We left his body to rot, though, so maybe they... They took Brother Akis' dead body and ate it, which is also hilarious. <laughs> is it... God, it keeps, like, flopping around. This needle is floppy. Things you don't want to hear from a medical professional. This needle is floppy. There, look, it's in her arm. <laughs> I stuck it into her arm. Gave her the peanut butter shot. Remember to rub that area vigorously. <laughs> don't, no, don't wipe your nose. I have a tissue right over here. Just don't use your shirt sleeve, please. <laughs> this is how you apply serums, right? You rub it on someone's head? Why? Obviously, she needs the serum. She was just chewing on her fingernails, except that she's wearing gloves. <laughs> Somebody needs a brain serum here. <laughs> you know, that's a sign of an iron deficiency. <laughs> we got the serum for Camilla and Carrie. Uh-huh. We have another vial for Joshua. Yes. Before we report back, we should try and recruit all the allies we can get. We have gotten the support of All Clouds, the Sun and Moons, but there's one faction we definitely need to recruit. Which is... I think you know. I don't know. Who? You back? We back! You shut the bathroom door? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you guys think about the Legion? We know the kind of people they are. Like the master made us once. They let her! <laughs> they paint over important signs and enslave people. And I think it's very clear that we don't approve of any of those behaviors. Would you like to help Joshua Graham beat up the Legion. It is a pretty hasty leap from moral distaste to outright war making. But Joshua gave us our faith. We all believe in Joshua. If he sees the light again, we wish to help him fight against Caesar. Hooray! See you at the war. Bring your flip flops in case we go swimming afterwards. Yes. My super mutant turned into Kermit the Frog there. That was kind of weird. <laughs> All right, now we must salute nose goblins. We will salute our nose goblins <laughs> as a pact. We will rub our bellies together in the sacred trust. I know I said there was one more faction for us to recruit, but there's actually a second one we haven't talked to yet. Let's oh, go! Who is it? Where are we going? Oh, you'll see. I've got an anti-material rifle that from this angle kind of looks like a PGM. Uh, Hectate PGM? Was that it? I gotta look this up now. You are brilliant with guns. How the hell did I know that? I've never researched French sniper rifles. Husker do. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we both said it at the same time. <laughs> I didn't mean to fall off the cliff. I'm sorry, Mike. That's why All I right. keep repeating what you say. That's why I keep repeating what you say. That's why I keep repeating what you say. Now we're stuck in an infinite loop. Now we're stuck in an infinite loop. Infinite loop. Infinite loop. See, once I've gotten tired of repeating what bum, you say. Bum, 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 bum. I was waiting for you to start singing something about infinite loops. Why would I do that? I don't know, because it's fun. Am I that predictable? No, but I started singing like the backup music and I wanted you to start singing about infinite loops. You could sing about infinite loops. Oh, well, it's too late now. The magic is over. <laughs> this guy is stuck in an infinite loop of spawning next to this rock and walking down this hill. Rock. Rock! Ah! 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 Kill me! 
Yes, the locked horns camp we haven't explored yet. Is that... <laughs> you gotta christen this area with your <laughs> crippled body. <laughs> I christen this area, the locked horns camp. Uh, that's how you celebrate finding a new place. Break your bones on them. Greetings, locked horns. I have broken my leg on your waterfall. Uh, Zoe, can you translate? Zoe, translate. He, he smiled at me. What's that mean in English? Greetings. I am a powerful spirit sent here to rule this land. <laughs> really? You're going to try that? We may be tribals, but we're not idiots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, pull that mess 30 years ago, maybe. We had plenty of people telling us they were something back then. But that's before I was born. We are the god- oh. I guess we're done talking. What are you doing here then, babe? Where are you from? <laughs> Why'd you just call me babe? Can I help you with something, or are we gonna have to kill you? Uh, did, Zoe, did you literally just translate him saying babe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding. No, don't worry, baby. I wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> Stop calling me that! Neither will my boys. Unless they already have. In which case, I guess you won. Zoe, you don't have to translate that. Yeah, if he's saying that to you, you don't have to translate it. Just give me the gist of it, thanks. Yeah. We are here on behalf of the burned man. We leave the spirits alone here. My aunt, the salty one, she makes sacrifices. Kills her own people sometimes. For spirits. His aunt is salt upon wounds? But we came to the Narrows to get out of spirit things. We don't want trouble. Especially not with the burned Canaanite. Yeah, your aunt is salt upon wounds? Yeah, that's... What? Ugh. Don't talk to me about it, bro. She thinks we're all like stinky savages up here, but the truth is, she's crazy! I, yeah, I could tell. Joshua Graham isn't a spirit, he's just a dying old man and needs help. The burned Canaanite taught my mother many things. She loved him and believed in his god. If he's dying, I want to help. But listen, my tribe won't be so cool like me. They'll want to know Grandma Jeshua is a goodwill spirit, you feel me? I feel you, dog. So I have a favor. You help me, and we fight the red skirts with you. Okay. I like calling them red skirts. Why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> That's quite a slur. No one's ever thought about it. That's kind of demeaning. Yeah, I like it. So, yeah, well, what's the favor as long as you're going to help us kill these filthy red skirts? <laughs> you know the black stuff, right? Power elixir? Power elixir? See, we're almost out. Nothing but the glass vials left, and that's no good. A couple of my hombres been drinking way too much. Do you what? mean Nuka-Cola? Oh, is that what he means? I thought he meant motor oil. <laughs> I was like, don't, dude, don't drink a motor oil. That's super not good for you. That stuff's real bad. Yeah, it makes you poop real smooth, but don't drink it. Do you speak from experience? No, I, yes, no. That's a conclusive answer if I've ever heard one. No fake news. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. The good stuff, happy drink, fizzle stew, we live for that. <laughs> I hope it's not fizzile stew. Look, I heard there's some in that old vault the sun and moons have. You get it from them and bring it back to us, we'll fight. We're going to have to pool our resources to get, what, 30 bottles of- I have 30 bottles of Nuka-Cola. Seriously, look at that. Delicious. You're not bad, you know that? The locked horns don't forget people who help them out. You said you wanted us to help the burned man. So what does he want? Do we want them to join our army on the offensive, or do we want them to protect the new Canaanites? I think we should have somebody protect the new Canaanites. I can probably handle the rest of everybody else. Yeah, seeing as how we're going up against an army that we've already destroyed, sure, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you guys protect the new Canaanites from the Bloodstones and Legion? You got it. I'll send some men to do it right away. If that's what it takes to get this fighting out of Zion, we'll do it. Cool! He's going to want to talk to you, but don't. I coated him with paste, and if he moves, he's going to crack it and cause damage and infection. What kind of paste? Toothpaste? Wallpaper paste? She probably just shoved some Nuka-Cola down his throat, because Nuka-Cola fixes everything. Tomato paste? I got this from the vault. It's shell. Very strange. No, I, I don't want to know what you found down there. The tribe said it was a spirit. It was a child. The writing here says it's a pre-FEV brain stimulant. See, I told you it was a forced evolutionary virus. <gasps> shiver me timbers. Shiver me timbers. What are- Arr! Shiver me timbers! So, if we use this, it's a big bluff. This has the wrong stuff in it. It could take down our boy. Or it could turn him into a super mutant. But here's the other thing. I don't know if we can afford not to take the gamble. 
Joshua's pretty close to dead. Arr, we can afford to take the gamble. So if you have anything else to do for Joshua, let's do it first. So here, take this and use it directly on his brain stem. Arr. Yar. Yar. Why are we pirates? Because she said shiver me timbers. Arr. Arr. I guess that's the catalyst for becoming pirates. Arr. That is the catalyst. I'm repeating stuff. I'm sorry. Yar. Yar. Use this injection on Joshua now. Arr. All right. Let's head over there. I'm going to need you to hold his head. Like down? <laughs> Hours have passed since you and Amy started working on Joshua. His first response to the FSR was violent, err, and terrifying. It seemed for a moment that he be dead. <laughs> but the following hours have brought him around. He was exhausted, but he takes a step away from the tent and a moment to wipe his brow. That's me. I take a moment <laughs> to wipe my brow. Lazarus returns, courier. Who knew the kind of headache resurrection brings on? Yeah, it's a pretty big one. Yo, how you feeling, dog? I am ready now. <laughs> That's all we need to know. Uh, maybe we can talk to Mordecai, see what he's got to say about Joshua's miraculous recovery. This cliff looks fun to jump off of. <laughs> Again? Why? You've already done this before. Come on, no. Take a step back from the plank, man. If you would step back from that ledge, my friend. Arr, I died the way I lived, like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, you're going to get sick of throwing yourself off cliffs. You're gonna get tired of it. I kind of doubt it. <laughs> that was a long way down. The cliff is a harsh mistress. <laughs> I have convinced some fighters to join our cause. Delightful. Tell me who they are. Uh, All Clouds has agreed to side her watchers with you in the fight. This is a great victory. Not just for us, but for Zions. Salt One Wounds has no sense of vision. All Clouds sees the spirits in all things. Also, Everlasting Light and the Locked Horns will fight with you. Strange people, aren't they? Oh, I yes. I can't imagine what they made you do. Well, we're happy to have them. Furthermore, the Highlander mutants who have agreed to join us. You found them. Carl and then, and the others. It wasn't hard. I can't believe they're still alive. I had to crawl through a toilet. It will be an honor to fight alongside them. The young people of the tribe of Sun and Moon wish to sacrifice themselves to defend their pacifist parents. <laughs> you are quite the new Canaanite courier. One of our greatest stories of war and faith tells of young people who fight when others cannot. Yes, they will be the front lines, the meat shield to our army. They're not really going to be a meat shield because they apparently have power armor. Well, what's the How do a bunch of tribals have power armor? Where'd they get the fusion cores? Maybe Joshua had a couple in his pants. That's not a place to keep fusion cores. Oh no, that's where you keep noodles and Nuka-Cola. Let's start this final battle, this confrontation. I'm so excited. Yeah, the suicide mission. With who we have on our side, I think we'll be all right. You might think I'm too optimistic. Levius has many more than we do. But I don't think all of them will come to fight me. If they know it's me, I mean. So for now, let's not worry about an army or the one we're fighting. I'd like for you to help me with something, if you would. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to get you, like, some oranges or something? Should we replace those bandages, because you haven't done that in several years? Well, no, he does that, like, every day. He says that, but he also didn't have the strength to leave his chair, so where does he get these bandages? You know, that's a valid point. Let's cover him in pitch and throw him <laughs> off the cliff. I have one last thing to do before we move on. There are two traditions. One among the new Canaanites, and one among the Bloodstones. I would like to perform them both at once, if I can. The New Canaanites have baptisms. Young Bloodstone Watchers take a hallucinogenic herb called Blackweed. The New Canaanites save souls. The Bloodstones face fears. Both come out stronger. Let's get that dank herb! I have here enough Blackweed for two full-grown adults. <laughs> it would be my honor if you would join me in the spirit world. Mike and I will split one. You can have the rest. I'm sure half a hallucination will be fine between us. As you enter the drain, you feel a beating in your chest, as if another heart resided there. You feel like they've walked these paths before. The enemies that rise up seem somehow familiar, as if you walked these paths once in another skin. Whoa, dude. As if these memories are from another life. That's heavy. You step forward into the past. I'm totally tripping balls right now. 
Oh my god! Oh, I'm being attacked by the future! Oh, this future sucks and I hate it! Are these zombies? This is what happens when I do drugs. I just become really quiet and start looting corpses. Don't do drugs, kids. Mike! Mike, I'm being attacked by the NC- Ow! I'm being attacked by the NCR and they do a lot of damage! I must have the limbs! The limbs must be mine! Ah, this is a bad trip, dude. I've had weird trips before, but this one's real weird. I found a door! It's a door in the middle of nowhere that goes to the Well of Secrets. I'm gonna go in it. Whoa, dude, I'm like underwater! Ugh. This is weird. Ah! <laughs> if you die in the hallucination, you die for real. Is it a girl dragon or a boy dragon? Well, ask it. You no, you can t you can tell if it's a girl dragon or a boy dragon if it's wearing a crown and has hair. Well, cuz if it's a girl dragon, I want it to be my girl dragon friend. Good like follow the pink mushrooms, man. Those pink mushrooms will show you the way. Teach you how to be one with nature, man. And uh greetings, Daniel. What news bring you? Joshua. Thank goodness you came. I'm not Joshua. Bartseer said we'd be safe here. Listen, I... I needed to talk to you. Meeting me was a bad idea, Daniel. I just need to talk to you. Give me one chance. I've heard unbelievable things. When we went to the Grand Canyon and you were kidnapped, Amy and I thought everything was over. But now I hear that seven tribes have been wiped off the map? There are these soldiers in red coming into Zion. Were you a part of this? No, it wasn't. I was not a part of this. Also, <laughs> I've done a lot of drugs, man. Everyone is telling me that I need to leave, that I should give up on you. But I know you. You're my best friend. No, man. Stop this. Whatever's going on, come with me and Amy back to New Canaan. If you don't, I'll have to... I'll have to stop you. Are you gonna kill me, man? You're thinking from a bias, Daniel. Your faith blinds you, man. This is insane. You are betraying everything we believe in. I am the only one who thinks you haven't lost your mind. Wait a minute. Edward? Oh, it's Edward, man. Hey, Edward, how's it going? I'm not Edward anymore. I'm Caesar. This is a nice pistol you got there, man. We could trade that pistol for like a bunch of beads. I'm actually gonna trade the bullet in this pistol with your friend here. Where? Edward, you shouldn't do this, man. Violence is bad. All right, whatever you say. I'm gonna murder your friend here and then we can keep going. Okay, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. I, that was a warning shot. There, there we go. Oh, he's dead now. Man, that was like really harsh in my vibe. I gotta eat some more of these pink mushrooms. How was your drug trip? <laughs> it was weird, man. That was a weird <laughs> drug trip. I uh I'm naked? <laughs> yes you are. <laughs> Wearing a helmet. <laughs> well, that's like every other drug trip I've ever had. <laughs> so did you go killing Legion soldiers too? No, I was Yes, yes, I was killing leaves and soldiers. <laughs> yes, that's what I was doing. Why did you take off your clothing? I don't know. Apparently, I have none of my clothing left. <laughs> How did this happen? I don't know. Mike, what? where's my clothing? Yes. I like that you're wearing Legion clothing and an NCR beret. I, that's I like, I'm going to wear this Russian uniform and also this SS hat. <laughs> Good. You're awake. We don't have much time. What the hell did I just see? We shared a dream. I'm sorry you had to see that. But if you want to ask me about it, I'll let you. But we should hurry. First off, where are we? We are at Sunrise Point, above the new Canaanite camp. An hour ago, Livius attacked with Salt Upon Moon's forces. I brought you here for safety. Oh, and we were doing drugs. We were doing drugs, so he attacked us. That, yeah, doing drugs was a great idea, Joshua. What the f- <laughs> It seems like he might have been waiting for the opportunity. What's going on down there? Levius is drawing me out at last. He's wanted to see me again, broken as I am. And I am ready now. We are ready. 
Down the hill from here we'll come to the Canaanite's front gate. We'll fight our way through many of his faithful, but he'll be in the temple. Well, I'm ready to go. Let's go. I think I've been given a glimpse of my life, as if a light has been turned on in a room that was dark. Caesar believed that small people die permanently, and that the brutal live after death. Okay. He was wrong. Where I thought I was alone, I am surrounded by souls. Where I thought myself powerful, I am blessedly weak. Yes, yes, it's all very emotional. For the strength of God is made perfect in my weakness. Where I thought there was chaos, there is a pillar of fire and the hand of the one true God. I'm gonna have a smoke. These forces we have gathered are children as David was. But let the legion be Goliath. We will show that the battle is the Lord's. And that he was the one who was weaving the tapestry all along. Oh, smoke breaks over. Let's go fight. I think I have been given a glimpse of my life, as if suddenly shown a tapestry. Look at this tapestry! <laughs> it's an 1830s Nickelback song. 